something interesting today and something I wanted to do for a while, which is basically put a GPS tracker on one of these hogs and see where they go during the day and how far they go. And uh, one of the, the property owners we worked with recently mentioned that and uh, that made me think about it again. Uh, it seems like that him and I have similar crazy thoughts. So I looked into it, wanted to figure out like what would it take to do that. Um, found some GPS trackers online. They're mostly for dogs. So those are dog colors uh, and dog GPS trackers. And I, I know that the folks who do the hog dogging and stuff, you know, they use GPS colors from Sport Dog and other brands. So I knew that, you know, at this point in 2020, uh, there's gotta be something out there we could use. Found an option uh, which is fairly inexpensive. The tracker is basically 50 bucks. Uh, looked into how accurately that thing tracks and most importantly, what kind of location history I get because that's ulti ultimately what I'm interested in. I wanna see where they go over the period of time. The biggest problem with those is the battery life. So I'm thinking the one I picked, um, you know, like I said, fifty dollars. Um, the battery should probably last two to three days, I would assume. Definitely not made for tracking feral hogs in the wild, but made for a little fluffy the Shih Tzu at home who's gonna run around in the neighborhood for a short period of time. Then you pick him up from your neighbor who's annoyed that he got into his yard again. Um, so feral hogs, obviously, they tra travel quite a bit. The interesting part, that tracker has a live tracking option. So I hit that live button and then I get basically uh, location pings uh, on a, on a uh, per second basis versus uh, minutes. Um, and I tried that at home and you can see here the map. Uh, I actually put it on <laughs> my son since uh, uh, I didn't want them to uh, be pulled around by 130 pound Great Dane through the neighborhood and then there's another dog coming. So uh, my son was wearing that thing around his uh, belly, uh, went on his bike, went around the cul-de-sac here, uh, a few circles and the, hist the location history looked really good. Interesting part also is that uh, they provide a heat map. So you see basically where they, you know, where mo more data points have been submitted from in this case. Those data points are GPS locations. So I think, uh, like technology-wise, this actually works out. Uh, worst case, I'm losing a tracker, which was 50 bucks. That's worth uh, worth the fun uh, we're gonna have with this. Um, now the the next step is obviously we gotta have a pig where we can put this GPS tracker on. And uh, it happens to be that uh, our owner we work with here has numerous traps which have been semi-successful in the past um, we needed a smaller trap we, you know we wanted to only trap if, uh, you know technically one hog so asked him you know put out at that place um, and he had his ranch hand do that pretty quick in a matter of a day or two i get a text message trap is you know at the place it then happens to be that the ranch hand just went ahead and uh, actually baited it right away so I get a text message this morning, hey, there's uh, three parks in the trap. So uh, we had to just uh, expedite our plan here a little bit and, uh, and uh, now we're on the way out to the property and three hawks in the trap here, uh, two smaller ones, one bigger one. Um, I'm guessing the bigger one here is between 60 and maybe 80 pounds. It's not, it's not a big one. So that's the one I'm gonna put that color on and then see where they go. Um, trying to find out basically where they hide out during the day. So we have maybe an opportunity to just sneak up on them during the daytime and uh, take a few out. And also I want to see just how far they travel really, what's the, what's the you know, pattern uh, and so forth. So I've never actually handled a live pig other than the little small one I caught here in the, in the past, but uh, it'll be an interesting uh, adventure. So we have a rope. I looked up what the hog tie is. You tie up the hog's legs, uh, knee down on it somehow, hold it still, put the collar on his neck, and then release the big one, probably this, one of the small ones. So they, there's at least two of them and maybe they, they make their way back to the sounder or whatever. And one of those small ones is probably gonna go on to a smoker 
and I have uh, Nate with me over here. Uh, Nate is a way better chef than I will ever be, uh, and I don't have the motivation for all this uh, cooking stuff, so Mr. Nate is gonna do that. I think he spent his day already today researching how to best uh, prepare a hog or cook a hog. Um, not sure if you're gonna do that in your on your cook, uh, smoker, Nate, or on mine, but uh, either way, we'll figure it out. I recently bought a, a pit boss Lockhart grill. Uh, it's electric pellet uh, pellet grill or pellet smoker. Um, fairly decent sized uh, cooking surface. Also has a, a little cabinet, smoker cabinet on top. We could make sausage and hang up sausage in there and uh, smoke them and stuff. So, anyways, uh, it's gonna take us about an hour to get out. Uh, Mr. Nate is practicing the hog tie uh, thing here. Hopefully we don't get injured in this whole process. We're gonna video as much as we can, obviously. Uh, I think it's gonna be fun. Hopefully we get some good data out of it. Um, but definitely one of those adventures uh, we are totally game for. So you guys stay tuned and I'll see you in a bit. So we just pulled up right next to the, the trap. We have three picks in there. Size-wise, I think the biggest one would be a good size for that for that uh, color. But let's go take a look at those guys. Keep her distracted, I might be able to turn it up from this side. I can grab her back I need you to grab one up from up here, dude. Just leave the rope on the side. Grab her right there, up one of those. Yep. So she doesn't, she doesn't uh, spur me. Scoot out. Yep. Got her. You good? Yep. You sure? Yep. Uh, I'm gonna get 
Get there with that mouth. Lay, lay it on the lay it on the ground. He got out the bullet. I can. Let's go. All right, that was an experience. Never done that before. But uh, we figured it out. Grabbed our hind legs from in the cage, or from outside the cage. Nate was the in-between man. Uh, opened the gate, pulled her out, flopped on the back on the side, and he just went uh, ahead and put the collar on instead of messing up the hog tie. She's pretty exhausted, I'm exhausted. I hope the collar is on there good enough. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just hoping it's gonna stay on there. Alright, let's go loose and uh, hopefully she doesn't attack us right now. So, <laughs> bye bye, piggy. Go on, go on, ah! Piggy. Go on, go on, ah! Go on! That was eventful. <laughs> <laughs> didn't see that coming yesterday. Oh, actually, yesterday I did see that coming. The day before, I didn't see that coming. So, got two dead piggies right there. They're gonna go in the smoker. Mr. Nate behind the camera is gonna cook those up. Right? Right. right. And uh, you're gonna stay here tonight, or well, tonight, for a few hours. Watch the, the feeder, see what's coming in. That picket should be sending GPS locations now to my app. So I'm gonna look that up. Hopefully we have signal out here. Worst case, it was a very fun experience. And I lost 50 bucks in a GPS tracker. So it's not too bad. But hopefully we get some data back. See how far that pig is roaming in this place. Do they cross it to the different property? Like how far do they go? That's what I wanna find out. And if you find out also where they hide out during the day, that would be fantastic. So let's go look at the app and see what it says.